What is up everybody? Welcome into this new video to Express. My name is Steven and I'm going to be showing you how to create an actual block into WordPress. But we're going to be using an actual plugin called Elementor. If you haven't used Elementor yet, let's just get started. This is really important to notice that you must have an active plan in order to download plugins in your actual website. So with that being said, now that you have an actual active website into WordPress, let's continue with downloading the actual plugin. If you focus into your dashboard, you want to go into the left part that says plugins. I'm going to hit now it says plugins and this one should be taking us into the plugins that we just added automatically. Or I want to go directly into add new since we don't have the actual um i'm gonna go into search plugins and i'm gonna go for elementor like this this is an actual keyword and it should be appearing in here my actual keyword as you can see here it is elementor website builder more than just a page builder so what i want to do is to go into install now and there we go so after you hit into install what you wanted to do is to go back into your installs plugins so you can head into activate the one that you could just download it so i'm going to hit into activate activate and this one should be sending us into elemental section so you're here let's set things up let's go for create my account and this one is going to be popping up this new section where we needed to actually create a website uh, i mean uh, my account i'm going to hit into my email as well as a passcode I'm going to hit now into create my account. It's nothing that bad and different. So I'm going to just connect my site from the Pantheon here and Elementor into my actual website. And as you can see, we are actually uh, good to go. Now let's go into continue with Hello Theme. Now, um, what I wanted to do is to give a site name. Since we're making some blocks, I decided to import something called just blocks. I'm going to hit now into next. And here, this is um, totally optional. You can import your custom brand logo if you wanted to. If you don't, that's totally okay. But in my case, I wanted to import it. And then later on, I wanted to just give it a title then later and hit now into select. So um, here it is. Now I'm going to go into next. And lastly, um, it's going to be asking to edit a blank canvas with the Elementor editor or to browse from 100 templates and or we can import our own. What I can totally just do is to create one based on a template that was already been created for the Elementor. So if I focus into the left pod, let's go for blocked or magazine section. And as you can see, we have a bunch of elements that we can use. But I must tell you that you wanted to check it out here into the upper side that this one says pro. So go pro, go pro, view demo, go pro. What you wanted to do is to look out for an actual plan that says free. So if there's actually nothing that we can use totally for free, you can just um, delete this category and choose the one that you can maybe use later on for editing your actual blog. For example, I wanted to use the one says Ceramic Studio. You don't want to focus a lot into what is inside it, the elements, the photos, the description. You just want to focus into the elements that are inside your actual um, your actual template. So you don't have to worry about that. Let's say, for example, that I kind of like this one, the child caring or the eco-friendly one. Let's go for this one and I'm going to hit into view the demo. So this one should be taking us into the overview of how it's going to be looking our actual block. So we do have here into this template, the home, about us, our programs, activities, contact us, watch your child grow. This one has a few elements that we can use for free. Uh, we have animations. Actually, it looks really, really great. So if you liked it, you wanted to go into apply kit, apply all. And my kit is now being setting it up into my actual account. So I'm going to hit now into enable, setting up your kit. Just wait a few seconds there. And there you go. So your kit is now live on your site. I'm going to hit into see it live. And this one should be taking me into the Pantheon, into my actual website that was generated for the WordPress. So all the elements that I have created with the Elementor are now going to be imported inside my actual website. So what is left to be done is to close this or I'm going to just go with click here to learn more about my kits. And this is how I'm going to be importing my actual site setting. So uh, what I wanted to do now is to go back. I'm going to close this tab and I'm going to head down into Elementor. 
Now inside Elementor, what I wanted to do is to look out for the actual website that we have just generated. If you don't find that there, you can go directly into pages and inside pages, you can see that we can have, we do have a lot, but truly, truly a lot of elements that was generated and automatically added from Elementor. So if I go back into WordPress, let's say for example, that I wanted to get started by editing the home section, the front page and all that. So if you go into pages, let's go into the home section and hit into edit with Elementor. So this one should be now popping up once again, the editor, but not from WordPress, but directly from Elementor. This is really important if you wanted to get started by editing tools and stuff that was only generated by and for the actual, in my case, Elementor. Let's go for continue. Um, I wanted to hit into activate container. This is totally optional for you guys. I'm gonna go back here and now check it out here. As you can see, I do have all of my elements I do love the colors, but then later on, I think that what I can do to start to make this a little bit more like myself is to edit my actual title. So here, what's your child grow and thrive? Let's go with uh, why start by editing. You're going to learn what are the best tools for your WordPress in the 2023. Now it says find a program. I wanted to choose this button and instead of going with find a program, let's go with dive in. I liked it. And now here I'm going to click into this image and I'm going to hit into choose image. And now as you can see, this is the media library that was generated for us. So what I wanted to do is to insert a new media or you can insert this from a URL. If I open a new tab, let's say for example, that I wanted to look out for WordPress into Google, I'm going to hit now into images and I wanted to look for a website or an image that looks really great. For example, let's say that I wanted to look for this one. If it has like a really great resolution, what is left to be done is just to choose it. Let's say for example, this image and I'm going to copy the image address and, and I'm going to paste that inside the editor section. So I'm going to just close this because I don't want it to confuse myself. There we go. And here have the alternative text captions and the align. Let's go for the into the center and insert it to the post. So as you can see, it is looking now great. So now um, I just need to scroll a little bit down and start editing my stuff instead of rainbow decor. Let's go with Elementor. I'm going to look out for new images and there we go. So um, as you can see, guys, it is not that hard to start using an actual blog section here into Elementor. So I do have lots and lots of stuff that I can use into Elementor. It is not necessary to look out for any specific category. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this was a very useful information for you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more great tools for how you can get started here into WordPress and into Elementor. Both are a great way to help you get started creating a blog. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. See you next time.